Hello everyone, this is Professor Raghavendra Chepak, KLS Kukte College of Commerce, Belanavi. So, in today's class, we are going to study about the derivatives market. Okay, so what is this derivatives market? This market is a part of secondary market where the securities are traded for the future delivery and payment. Okay, so derivatives are the financial instruments which are derived from the equity, bonds, currencies, and commodities. They are used by the companies, firms and investors to protect or safeguard from the risk. Okay. So in this market, price will be fixed well in advance and on the same price, future transaction will take place by which fluctuation in the price and currency etc. will not affect on the transaction. So in simple words, we can say that what will happen in the derivatives market? The derivatives market may kya hota hai? the parties will come into the contract well in advance regarding at what price they are going to sell it in the future okay for example we already know that in front of us dollar our rupees will fluctuate right for example sometime it will be 65 67 it will go up to 70 and it, again it will come to down 64 65 63 like that there will be a fluctuations right so by which what will happen the prices of the goods whenever you import the price will fluctuates right so to avoid the such fluctuation what will happen both the companies come into the contract what will be the contract this is that if today's price of us dollar is 65 rupees okay so 65 rupees in front of indian rupees correct so the next period kere, that may be for the next three months or uh, six months so with the same price they are going to continue their transaction with the same price without uh, any change in the currency or without any fluctuation in the currency so what will happen in this case even though there is a uh, ups and downs in indian rupees in front of the us dollar that will not affect on the transactions right by which the risk will reduce the same the risk or safeguard of the investors or a purchasers will take care in this derivatives market so what will happen in this case the companies firms and investors protect or safeguard themselves self by coming into the contracts in the derivatives market okay so next is market participants so we already study about what is the securities market and all right so now we will see who are the participants so securities market bridges the gap between the investor and the users of the finance okay so apart from this investor and users again which all members are included in this market that we are going to study under this concept okay so there are the certain participants who are existed in the securities market they are investors issuers brokers merchant bankers depositories credit rating agencies primary dealers and regulators so about these participants we will study one by one now so first one is investors so who is the investor the investor is a person who wanted to invest his money in a proper manner by taking the certain risk and with the expectation of certain return okay so in simple words one who purchases the shares bonds or any securities in the market he is known as a investor correct next is issuer who is a issuer issuer is a person who is a in a requirement of funds and who wanted to raise the capital by issuing of these securities like shares bonds and other securities correct so in simple word one who issue the securities is called as issuer okay next is broker so who is a broker a broker is an agent or a middleman one who act on behalf of the company to raise the capital and one who sell the the securities to the investors on behalf of the issuer okay so for that service he will charge a certain commission so middleman or agent is a broker correct so that is the meaning about broker in simple words okay so next is merchant 
banker so one who is the merchant banker merchant bank is an institution or an organization which provides a number of services including management of securities portfolio management of services underwriting of the capital issues insurance credit syndication financial advices project counseling etc so they mainly offer the financial services for a fees so merchant banking is nothing but overall one who advise or counsel about their investment to the investors and one who manage the all the services that is known as merchant banker okay so for that services he will charges certain the fees okay next is depositories so who is the depositories depositories are the institutions which holds the securities in a dematerialized form okay for the investors in their beneficiary account so dematerialized form means what in a digital form okay so basically in india there are two main depositories are working one is nsdl that is national security depository limited second one is csdl central depository services limited okay so this is about the merchant banker and depositories so next one is credit rating agencies so first we'll understand what is credit rating so we already know that whenever we write the exams there will be a certain marks or grades will be given right a grade a plus b b grade b plus right so in school time you all uh, come across through this kind of grading or rating system in your schools after the exam in your progress card they will mention a grade a plus b b plus c etc right so like that uh, they measured your performance and according to that they given the, those grades correct so in the companies also to measure its performance certain gradings will be given okay so the companies which are involved in such agencies or such measuring those institutions are known as credit rating agencies okay so credit rating means measuring the credit worthiness of a business right or individual or a business what is the repayment capacity of a company that is credit worthiness okay that will be checked there and according to that the certain grades will be given okay so such institutions which are involved in this process is known as credit rating agencies so in india there are several credit rating agencies are there such as crisil icra care that is care etc so these all are involved in this credit rating agencies next is regulators so who are the regulators regulators are the bodies which are involved in the supervision of the security market so what regulators will do they make the rules regulations and the guidelines for its member how to conduct the transaction in a securities market okay so the regulators are nothing but the one who control the security market correct so in india the regulators are sebi that is security exchange board of india rbi right reserve bank of india mof ministry of finance right so which issue the rules regulations and guidelines for the securities market to conduct their businesses so these are the different participants in the securities market so remaining part we will see in the next class